have just announced October 27th at the Copper Box. Now we knew that this was going to happen. We didn't quite know what the card was going to look like. And it's a pretty good one. And it's going to be headlined by John Ryder. And he will be going up against Andre Sirotkin. And this will be for the WBA Super Middleweight Final Eliminator. So the winner of this one will get a shot at the WBA World Title going forward. Or, or, or going well anyway. Now, John Ryder will not be the favourite for this one. Um, if you guys don't know Andre Sirotkin, he's a Russian fighter, 15-0. and 0. Not the biggest puncher in the world, but still very, very good. So very, very tough fight for John Ryder. Hopefully John Ryder brings his A game. If he brings his A game, he's going to have a pretty good chance. But right now, this is pretty much a 50-50 fight, in my honest opinion. But if I had to lean towards somebody, I think it might be actually Sirotkin. That's just my opinion, of course. But the undercard for me... There's probably fights on here that I think, and it's just my opinion, are better or more worthy headliners. We've got Ted Cheeseman going up against Asina Byfield, and this will be for the vacant British Super Welterweight title. And that is a very good fight, so big up Ted Cheeseman and Byfield for agreeing to take this fight. So it's one that I know quite a few people will be looking forward to as well. And for me, another very, very good fight, Isaac Chamberlain. We'll be going up against Luke the Duke Watkins. What do they both have in common? They both lost their very last fight to Lawrence Acoli. So their only loss on their records is against the same guy. So who's better, Isaac Chamberlain or Luke Watkins? So both of these guys have got a loss now. And how are they going to react? And again, big up Chamberlain Watkins for taking this fight. This is a very, very good one at Cruiserweight, of course. And another very, very good fight, Jake Ball, who has just joined Dominic Ingle there um, at Team Ingle. He will be defending his WBA Intercontinental light heavyweight title against Craig the Spider Richards. And again, a very, very good fight. It's almost a shame that this fight has to happen, to be honest. But that's how good I rate this fight. I really do. And again, this is a very, very tough fight to call. Um, I've got uh, Craig Richards on the channel very, very soon as well. So keep an eye out for that. And um, maybe Jake Ball as well. Um, also on here, we have Ryan Doyle going up against Jordan Gill. And this will be for the Commonwealth Featherweight Championship. Um, I'll probably have to edge it towards Gill, but you know what? You never know, do you? So it's a good fight anyway. Um, also on the card, but without opponents, are Felix Cash, Reese Bellotti, Martin J. Ward, Louis Lynn, Charlie Duffield and George Fox. The only one I don't know out of them ones is George Fox, to be fair. But the rest of them are all very, very good, exciting fighters. So this is a very, very good card. And to be fair, I think that uh, some of these fighters should have, would have, could have maybe made the Joshua card in only 10 days' time, as you guys may have seen the previous video there, where I ranted a little bit about the lack of quality on that card. I think that some of these fights should have actually been on that card. But anyway... It is what it is, October 27th at the Copper Box Arena. We have this card headlined by John Ryder and he will be going up against Surtkin. Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.